crazy. Wow, I'm I'm impressed. That's quite a bit. <laughs> Seriously, it really is. I thought my high school had a lot because I want to say in our graduating class we had three sets of twins. That is a lot. I was like, that was pretty good, especially yeah. for a graduating class of 100. I was like, that, yes. was, that was quite a bit. Yeah, imagine 11 sets of twins. Yeah, no, that, Wild. that'd be a little confusing. Too. It would be. <laughs> All right, Liz, let's talk about this weather forecast heading into yeah. the weekend. Uh, rain today, yes. but the weekend looking okay. The weekend not looking too bad. We do have chances for rain showers practically every single day of the next week. Here's a look at satellite and radar right now. You can see more of those spotty showers trying to pop up more and more. We're mostly cloudy right now as that all starts to come in from south to north over the course of the morning hours. We already started to get in on a few of these showers from yesterday evening. We've had a few overnight, but for the most part, we're picking back up on things as we go into the mid morning hours and early afternoon. Once we get past noon, though, our rain chances are much more isolated in nature, and I think we'll keep up with those isolated rain chances practically from noon until the evening. So here you go on future track. You can see what I'm talking about going into the late afternoon and evening isolated rain chances with us. Then tonight we start to dry out a little bit more. We do look to be partly cloudy and fairly mild tonight. In fact, speaking of mild, this morning we're off to a slightly warmer start. Temperatures across the region about 10 degrees above what we had this time yesterday, meaning we're back in the 50s and 60s. Sitting at 60 degrees as you head out the door in Fort Wayne, 59 in Decatur, 59 right now in Paulding, 59 in Columbia City, 64 in Wabash, and 62 right now in Marion as you head out. Highs today not quite as warm as yesterday. Yesterday's official high temperature, 83 degrees. Today we drop from that into the mid 70s, but still above average for this time of year. And we will maintain the mid 70s through the weekend too. This weekend we look to be partly cloudy, dealing with a few isolated pop up showers and thunderstorms for the weekend. The best timing on that will be during the afternoon and evening as we start to get in on the peak heating of the day. And again, this is really just keeping up with multiple opportunities for rain showers. Not quite any single day having a total washout. In fact, our highest rain chances are today and they're not that impressive past the morning hours. Going into the weekend, things are pretty scattered in nature and we still stay relatively scattered with rain chances going into next week. Things ticking up a little bit more by Tuesday of next week. That's when I think we have more opportunities for thunderstorms to come into the picture as well. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. A fairly steady trend in store. Now that we've gotten out of the 80s from yesterday, we maintain the 70s for highs for a good period of time. Mid 70s for today through the weekend. Overnight lows in the 50s and 60s into early next week. We have scattered shower opportunities for Monday with highs in the low 70s. Tuesday, more opportunities for thunderstorms to come into the mix. And going into next week, warming things up for Wednesday. I do think Kayla will likely end up seeing a bit of a cool down as we go into the following weekend. So not this upcoming weekend, tomorrow and Sunday, but the following one, probably back in the 60s at that point with some cooler trends in store. That's okay, Liz. Yeah. We have 70s for the next seven days, so yeah. I can't complain. I mean, considering we had June-like temperatures yesterday, yeah. I think we can put up with an average trend for us. Exactly. All right, Liz, thank you.